Wow, wow this look, is so it's so cool. cute. I, feel like look at I, guy. I think I'm going to get tickets. This looks yeah, incredible. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait. Oh. Hey, sorry. Sorry, we didn't see, see you there. there. <laughs> My name is Ella Barrett. I play Puck. My name is Nicholas Carminati. I play Harrison. And come, come see Puck's Potion! Potion. <laughs> As the 3.30 bell at Grandview High School finally rings, students rush out the doors, eager to get home. But the cast and crew of this year's musical sticks behind, donning utility gear, extravagant costumes, and flight harnesses, preparing for hours of hard work. This year's musical might not be one you've heard of before, Puck's Potion is a reimagining of a Midsummer Night's Dream in modern day, created by our very own Mrs. Lindahl. I am the director and the playwright. <laughs> I was uh, getting my master's degree in theater um, education and directing, and uh, we had to write a show and produce it. And so originally I did that at Eagle Crest High School in 2001. A good friend of mine, Jerry Vanderdose, he wrote the music and then my husband wrote the lyrics. So it was a fun team. Then we have uh, Joe Demers who is uh, actually a graduate of Grandview from um, many years ago but uh, he, it, he teaches dance at uh, South High School. With such a unique show I was eager to get to know some of the leads bringing Mrs. Lindahl's Shakespeare renditions to life. Uh, I play Oberon, and he is the king of the fairies, or the mystics. And so basically, the mystics are trying to put love into the world and try to make sure that it all falls together correctly and they fall in love with the right person. I'm telling Puck, like, hey, uh, get this person and do this person. And then I check back on Puck every once in a while and see if Puck is doing it right. Which, in this show, Puck isn't always doing it right. I play Puck, who is the mischievous fairy. She kind of drives the plot. Um, She's trying her best, but she does kind of mess everything up and makes the wrong people fall in love with each other. And we have to figure out how to make the love story work out. Harrison, he is engaged to a very wealthy woman because he went to Harvard, but he's in love with somebody else and it's a forbidden love story. With an ambitious performance ahead, there are plenty of challenges to face especially with a brand new addition to Grandview's theater department. The biggest struggle has been that this is such a huge show. We have a full pit, we have so many actors on stage, we have so many large sets and moving parts on stage. And on top of all of this, we have a fly system. The biggest struggle has been getting the fly system in and seeing have, have everyone seeing how that works. It's really cool, but it takes a lot, there's a lot of pieces to it. I would say for me, the biggest struggle has been figuring out everything to do with the fly system because it's a lot of logistics, but it's also really physically hard on the body. And so just figuring out like, oh, how do I do a flip? How do I do a spin? Incorporating that into like numbers and into scenes um, and like changing and modifying what we've, what we've learned to fit the flying. The biggest struggle, um, well, probably Today, <laughs> we had our first tech rehearsal, which means it's when we bring all the, the lights and the sound and the pit orchestra. So all of it comes together and it's, it's just a lot to try to orchestrate. Luckily, it'll all pay off when the curtains finally open on November 10th. There's a lot to get excited for. I'm most excited for people to see something that they haven't seen in Grandview Theater before, which is our flying and all of these components that are going back together. I think I'm most excited for people to see the flying because we've never done it before. So I think it's a new thing that people are gonna get to see and I'm super excited to see how the audience reacts. I think I'm really excited for people to see, uh, there's a really cool thing in our show where we freeze time every now and then. Mm. It's entertaining to just sort of watch everyone freeze and like the facial expressions that are like funny because they froze like mid sentence. I mean, I think I'm most excited obviously for, for people to see flying because uh, that's super cool. But I think along with that is to just see the story in general and see how if people saw Midsummer last year, uh, how the story is different, but slightly the same. And just to see like those differences and how the characters like interact with each other. We've talked about the flying, which is super fun, but um, there's a twist to this story from Shakespeare's original, and uh, I think the audience will really like that moment. So, Personally, um, I'm most excited for people to see the set. I walked out to stage today, and I was blown away by how big everything is, how colorful and well put together it all is. I feel like this is such a full show, and you get 
different aspects of every part of theater, whether that's lights, the costumes, the different audio effects. We have like so many different parts and it's gonna introduce people to a lot of cool things. To push through the long days, everyone keeps their favorite parts of the production in mind. I would have to say my favorite part of the production process so far has been getting to know so many new people. Um, we have like a record number of freshmen in this show and it's been so lovely to get to know all these new performers and people. I mean, I think the best part is being able to fly because it's literally so fun. My favorite part has been seeing the set come together, especially the star curtain. I love that curtain, it's so cool. This is the first time I've ever had to like really <laughs> sing a solo um, and so like that's just something that was like scary going into it, but now I, I, I feel more confident. It's also just really fun to be able to figure out like, oh, how would your character enter in this fly system? And how are you gonna cue the people that are like pulling you around? I think my favorite part of the show has been being able to see it all come together, like starting from day one where we had like nothing and then now being on stage with every part. Well, I think my favorite part is going to be opening night when everything <laughs> does come together. Um, it's a lot of work leading up to the show, but um, it's it's I know it's gonna be worth it. The um, actors are doing an amazing job. All the musicians are fantastic. The, the tech crew has been incredible to work with. Um, we just have a lot of really talented uh, students here at Grandview. After attending just one rehearsal, it was obvious to me that both students and teachers had poured their heart into this production. I bought my ticket on the way out the door. Puck's Potion is packed with romance, comedy, mischief, and magic. Come see it on the weekend of the 10th or the 17th. Don't miss out on this mystical musical experience. This is Gwen Gibson signing off for GVTV. Uh, my name's Ella Barrett. I, I play Puck's, Puck. I play Puck's Potion. Up. Can we do one more? <laughs> Take three.